Hello there, Kingdom family. This is Tamika Hall, and you're listening to the Exploding Worship Arts Podcast. Okay, so today's topic is you were chosen for this work and I'm going to be coming out of first Peter two and nine and I'm starting with the King James version. So first Peter two and nine says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation and peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay, now I really do enjoy this verse. This is something that we hear all of the time. But when we start thinking about whether or not we've been chosen for this work, it makes me really reflect on this verse. I'm going to go to the Message Bible really fast in the same verse. The Message Bible says, But you are the ones chosen by God, chosen for the high calling of priestly work, chosen to be a holy people, God's instruments to do his work and speak out for him, to tell others of the night and day difference he has made for you, from nothing to something, from rejected to accepted. Now, both of those different versions of that particular verse really speak volumes to me. If we go back to the King James Version, where the word peculiar is used. Now, there's a few words out of there, but we have the word chosen, we have royal priesthood, we have holy, we have the word peculiar. So I'm going to focus on the word peculiar. You know, I really like that word. I don't know if you're anything like me, where at different times you felt like you just don't fit in, where, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter even if you try to fit in with everybody else, you do what everybody else does. You always stick out like a sore thumb. Everybody's always looking at you like you're crazy because you're trying to look like them. So basically, I I came to the conclusion when I was in high school and going into college, that God just made me unique on purpose. I mean, I didn't come to the conclusion. As a matter of fact, he actually told me that. He said, I made you unique on purpose. And that really spoke volumes to me because I grew up just really feeling just very out of place. I always thought very differently than everybody else. I always had a different type of speech than everybody else. And people didn't, they just didn't get me. And so when God said to me, God, who I knew created everything and that he did everything well. So for him to tell me that he made me unique on purpose, you know, that was so profound to me because it was intentional. It helped me to really accept who I am. And as a matter of fact, if you go into Exodus 19 and 5, it really makes a reference to the Israelites being a peculiar treasure. You know, you think about something that you treasure. When you, when you treasure something, it's something of value. That's something that you hold dear. And so when we think about ourselves as being a, that chosen generation, we're chosen by God. We are a royal priesthood. We are the people that have said, God, we know that you are the way. And we know that through him is eternal life. And that is what makes us chosen, okay? And so when you look at the King James Version, it talks about us being that peculiar people or being that peculiar treasure that shows us that he holds us in high esteem, that he really values the things that we do. And so then when you go to the Message Bible, I look at the word instrument. Okay, so we've been chosen. God has intentionally made us unique. God holds us in value as his peculiar treasure. And he now uses us as an instrument. You think about the different instruments that you use in everyday life. You know, I don't know what it could be. It could be your toothbrush. We use that because it makes our breath smell good and it keeps our teeth clean. And um, you think about our car. Our car is an instrument of transportation. It gets us from one place to the other, whether that's to work, whether that's to do ministry events. We use our phones. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I would do without my phone. When I broke my smartphone a couple of months ago, I just felt completely lost because that is my instrument of communication. It's my instrument of being able to keep track of those things that I have to do. So, you know, it's my day planner. You think about those instruments that we just can't live without, just the basic things that we use that we really can't live without. And God has chosen us. He treasures us as that peculiar people. 
He says that we're a holy people. That means that we're supposed to be set apart and sanctified for the work. So when we are his instrument, God is saying, listen, I can't do this without you. So when he holds us in high esteem, he holds us as his partner. So when you think about yourself, those of us that are in arts ministry, no matter what it is, you know, whether it's dance, whether it's theater, whether it's the actual written word, whether it's playing an instru- actual instrument, you know, as a musician, we think differently. We, if you're like me, when, when I, I dance, I will begin choreographing from seeing the way a tree sways. This is, this is really honest. I'm inspired to write a, a book or to write a play by watching people and the way that they interact with each other. Um, and, and, you know, so when, when I, when I write a song, I might be really inspired because God has just dropped a word in my spirit, or I might even see an eagle soar. God's been sending eagles my way every time I get down and he's been sending this bald eagle. I, they sit on the side of the road or they hover above me. They soar above me and it inspires me to sing the, my praises unto him. So we think differently. We view the world differently and God has made us differently different on purpose. He has intentionally made us this peculiar, this unique, this chosen instrument to do his work. So if you've ever questioned whether or not you were chosen for the work that you do, whether it's multiple things, whether it's just that one thing that he's chosen you to just hone in and to be great at, I'm here to tell you today that you have been chosen for this work. So go forth today and and go forth in your chosen work and be the very best that you can be in that. This is Tamika Hall. You've been listening to the Exploding Worship Arts Podcast. Visit me on www.tamikahall.net and make sure to sign up for my newsletter to receive your free devotional arts uh, ministry calendar. I can't wait to spend every day with you, these short moments with you every single day. You have a blessed day.